Anyone in the bathroom? Oh! Oh! What it is, guys? It's your boy Blasphemous HD. That was a bit of a powerful one. Today we are here to try not to laugh at Family Guy. And if you guys want to watch the original video, the link is in the description down below me. <laughs> Let go! Hey, Quagmire, what do you got there? It's the new Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. Check it out. Those swimsuit issues don't excite me like they used to. I've been spoiled by internet porn. It's true. Totally. What do you mean, internet porn? You, uh, don't know about internet porn. Don't know what? I'm not really a computer guy. Quagmire, I would think you of all people would know about internet porn. Why didn't you guys tell me? Oh, yeah, you can even see Tanya Harding's honeymoon video on there. I mean, it's gross, but it's like famous gross. You know, these women don't compare to the old swimsuit issues with Kathy Ireland. Yeah, she had it going on. You know, Horace still has one of those old beer promotion cutouts of her from like 1994 in the back room. Hey, Dad. Where are you going with that cutout? Oh, hey, kids. This is Kathy. We're designing lifestyle products together. It's completely legitimate, but don't tell your mother. Oh! I had a great time today at the museum. No! You were the most beautiful woman there. Knock, knock. Any How? Does sex even work with a cardboard doll? I I never figured any of that out. Well, I've never tried, but I I I mean, if, if it at least looked like it was good, I'd give it a go. Like, I'd just try anything once, you know. Anyone in the bathroom? Well, at least it's doggy style. Right? Oh. I love the time we've spent together, you know that? Hey, Kathy, guess what? I'm out. Does that... Do you two get paper cuts? Like... Bad ones? Under the table, right now. I'm out. I have an announcement to make. No, no, I'll do it, I'll do it. I know I've been able to keep this a secret, but Kathy and I are not actually working on a project together. We're... in love. You're an idiot. My lawyer will call your lawyer. <laughs> this is the stupidest thing he's done since he got in a turf war with that cat. Now, kids, you don't have to call her mom right away. Who won? Was it was it him or the cat? Way, but I do want you guys to get along. Just give her a chance. I think you'll like it. Maybe she'll let us do things that Lois won't let us do. Yeah! Hey, Mom, can I pull my pants down? If she doesn't answer, does that mean yes? That's what I've been going with. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh! I didn't... I didn't know that his pants was really down. I... I laughed so hard I closed my eyes. The answer, does that mean yes? That's what I've been going with. Yay! <laughs> no. No. No, Peter, I'm just pretty much letting this run its course. Well, I'm sorry you're handling this so poorly, but have you seen Kathy? We were going to go get her passport renewed. Oh, Chris took her into his room about ten minutes ago. What? That whore! She oh! betrayed me worse than Lady Macbeth betrayed Duncan! <laughs> <laughs> How dare you make a fool of me? Did you have sex with that fat kid? Did you? Answer me! Oh! Oh my god! Look what you made me do! Is it bad that I have a story of like a girl that I was kicking it with for like actually a long minute? She looked just like that cardboard cutout. Not because she was made of paper, but because her hair was long. Why did you have to provoke me? Why did you ha- Quagmire? Hey, you are. Nobody's seen you in days. Hey, Peter. Uh, no. No, I don't, I don't think I- No. I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Peter. I, I gotta- I gotta get back. Yep, yeah, it's that internet porn. You know what I mean? It's... Is it bad that one of my arms is like legitimately way more muscular than the other one? We're not going to discuss why that might be, but 
I feel like there's no need to try to discuss it. I'm sorry, Lois. I was a fool. I'm done with Kathy. Can you ever forgive me? <laughs> Come on, I'm not in the mood. Ah, oh. oh, Peter. Oh, Lois, I missed you. You and your wonderful smile and your beautiful eyes and your awesome third boob that's on top of the other boob. What? Oh, my God. Peter, that's not a boob. That's a lump. A lump? Holy crap! Mrs. Griffin, I've got good news. Your test results came back negative. Yay! Legitimate extra titty. <laughs> it appears the lump in your breast is not black gross boob death. Breast cancer? That's the layman's term, yes. Oh, thank God. What a relief. Yeah, that was scary. Now, Mrs. Griffin, although you're in the clear for the moment, we need to have a look at your family medical history to determine your future risk. Oh, my God. Wow. Breast cancer's starting to look pretty good. No. No, it's not. Don't do that. <laughs> Mom, you're Jewish? I'm sorry I never told you, dear. When we were married, your father made me conceal the fact so he could get into country clubs. It was originally Hebrewberg money grabber. That makes you Jewish, Lois. And your children, too. Well, this kind of rocks my world. Even more than the time I went to that pediatrician. Whoa, Stewie! You're getting to be a big boy! I think somebody's gonna be a football star. Oh, you! Oh, forgot your chart. Be right back. You're just fat, Stewie. Silly and fat! Uh, thank you for coming over, Max. I really need some advice from an actual Jewish person. Oh, it's my pleasure, Lois. I'm sure this all must be very overwhelming. I, I just don't know what to do with this information. I, I spent my whole life as a Christian. Well, I wouldn't put it quite like that, but essentially, Brian's right. Being Jewish doesn't really have to change you or your family's life. Well, I guess you're right. There's no reason things should be any different around here. Shalom, Jews! Wow, Dad, where did you get all that glistening chest hair? It came with my Star of David. Well, I, I caution you, uh... <laughs> that becoming Jewish doesn't happen overnight. It's a process that involves spiritual education and good works. So what you're saying is that it happens overnight? Look, Peter, I'm the one with the Jewish heritage, and I really don't want to make a big deal out of this. Leave it to a Jew to take all the fun out of being a Jew. Now listen up. Oh. Look at all these short, hairy men. God, I feel like I'm on the forest moon of Endor. Good afternoon. Oh. As we approach the Passover holiday, let us remember the struggle of our people as they labored under the yoke of Pharaoh's despotic rule. Hey, if anyone appreciates a good yoke, it's the use. <laughs> Mom, is sodomy illegal if you're Jewish? I hope so, Meg. I really do. It's not, Lois. It's not. Dad, this isn't the way to school. Yes, it is, Chris. One of the best parts about being Jewish is getting to take advantage of their excellent schools. Head heard. Instead of lasting for one day, the oil in the lamp lasted for eight days. And that is why we celebrate Hanukkah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long before we play pin the eviction notice on the black guy's door? Now, does anyone uh -huh. have any questions? Yeah, I have a question. What are you going to do when Jesus comes back and puts a boot up your ass? All right, class. That's all for today's lesson. Now, everyone off to gym class. All right. Today, we're going to play soccer. <laughs> Huh. Oh, that was easy. Sexy little Jewish outfit for you at the store. What is that? Oh my God, Lois, if you put on this long, thick dress right now, I will lose it. Peter, I'm not wearing that thing. And if you put this shawl over your head... Ooh, do you have any clunky, unfashionable peasant shoes? Oh, I swear to God, Lois, I swear to God I would lose it. Peter, get off me. Mm, mm, tell me I don't earn as much as your friend's husband. Mm. Peter! Dead? What do you think you're doing, Peter? You were raised Catholic. If you forsake your religion, you'll spend eternity in hell. Oh, God, I don't want that. Then you better knock off all the Jewish stuff. <sighs> Thanks. Any 
Anybody want toast or a bagel? Oh! Now, what the hell? Lois, last night my father came to me and reminded me that I'm a good Catholic. If I don't rid the house of this Jewish curse, this family is gonna go to hell. Peter, you ready for dinner? Oh, that's just like the Parker Lewis episode when Parker Lewis ate dinner. Peter, nobody cares about your canceled show. Lois, Parker Lewis can't lose. Don't even try and make him lose, because it's just going to be that much more embarrassing for you when you realize that he can't lose. Would he win in a fight with Batman? Well, Chris, think about what you're saying. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son. Yeah, that's a rough one. Uh, did y'all see the Black Panther versus Batman death battle? I honestly thought that Batman was going to win that one. I really did, even though... It made sense that he lost. I, I thought he was going to win. Hmm. Huh? What the? What the hell? How do you like it? Huh? How do you like it? Peter, what in God's name is this? I just had to get out of that house. Peter's being such a jackass. Lois, I think this is more serious than you realize. Don't you see what he's doing? No, oh, he's just being immature. It's happened before and it'll pass. Lois, what Peter is doing to you is exactly what Carter did to me for years. He's repressing your Jewish identity. <laughs> Carter, knock it off! Come on, you know you Jew girls want that dollar? Follow the dollar and it'll lead you to... Uh... What are, what are Jews like? Salmon! There's salmon over here! Is there really salmon over there? No. You walk over there and he squirts you with a squirt gun. No! Oh, God! Lord! Oh! 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 God! Oh, children! Oh, it's kids! You walk over there and he squirts you with a squirt gun. Ha 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 ha! What the f Are you out of your mind? Relax, Lois. I was aiming for the mailbox. I'm just trying. Why would you yell at him? He'll just shoot you again. At least I would. If I shot at you once, you talk that ish. Then another one is coming. And I don't mean semen. We're going to edit that out. I didn't. I didn't do it. Unless you're a bad one, in which case, that was me. Shoot you again. Right in the eye. Trying to make a point. Good morning, Lois. Ah! Oh! For God's sake! Peter, you and I are going to have a conversation. I'm very angry with you. Jeez, what's your problem? What you did this morning was so far out of line, I just... Let me tell you this. Mom was right. I can't just sit here and let you dump all over my heritage. I'm not going to make the mistake she did. I'm Jewish, and I'm proud of it. And this weekend, we're having a Passover Seder. Okay, everyone. This is my first time doing a Seder, which is where we tell the story of the Jews' escape from bondage in Egypt. Doesn't it seem like every Jewish holiday has to do with them escaping from stuff? No, Chris. And you know, tricking some bigger, more athletic people. Uh, Lois, not that I'm rushing you, but when do we get to the wine drinking? Can we just eat? And now I shall continue the prayer. Kalima! Kalima! Oh, why are you just gonna reach directly into your own sibling's titty? Like, that doesn't. That's not nice. Oh! Have you been drinking? What the? Not since I got out of the car. Who hit that? He fatalityed her ass. Like Kano from Mortal Kombat? At least the first one? That's how old I am, people. I remember the first Mortal Kombat and all the fatalities. All day, every day. That's how we do in the hood. Uh... Think I can kick my ass. Peter, you are not going to ruin the Seda. Now get out of here. I'm sorry, kids. I just wanted to help Brian run for mayor. I guess I forgot what was really important. Peter, just go lie down. All right, I'm going to go lie down, and then I'm going to come back and mess up your shader. 
Well, I'm a Jew, and I want to live in a nicer house. You really think I should run for mayor? Peter, you've got to stop living in your own stupid world. I'm sorry, but I can't be with someone who doesn't believe in Jesus. Hey, hey, you heard my name. Wow, Jesus! Oh, you're dead now, Lois. Jesus is gonna kill you, and then we're gonna bury you in a yard next to Kathy Island. I, 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 I mean, I mean, nice weather we're having! It really doesn't matter. Catholicism and Judaism are not that different. They're two sides of the same coin. In fact, the Last Supper, one of the most iconic images of the Catholic faith, was a Passover Seder. And if I'm not mistaken, Islam is also in that same spiritual family. Uh, let's not muddy things up here. The most important thing is to treat other people the same way you would want to be treated. Look, I don't know if being Jewish is the right thing for... You know, it's really funny. That actually is a pretty good moral of the story. The moral of this story is, if you're going to cheat on your wife, make sure it's with an inanimate object. That way, when said inanimate object pisses you off, because they always do. You can kill it and no one will come looking for it because you bought it at Walmart and still have the receipt that you had to burn because that's evidence. Don't do as I say or as I do. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. It's your boy, um, uh, me, Twisms.